Hello people and welcome to follow internet. I am Numan Islam. In this video, I am going to create Django blog web application from bootstrap template. You can see this is a recent post. This is going to be latest post. Beautiful newsletter. Subscriber can subscriber can type their email address and hit subscribe button to getting newsletter and a beautiful photo this is our blog beautiful sidebar with post thumbnail every single category unique color you can change color variant first first open up your favorite browser and uh, go to bootstrapius.com slash p slash bootstrap as blog pc url and uh, open this bootstrap yes you can download this template for free or you can also buy this i'm going with free you can hit download now it will take your email address and name it submit it will take two minutes you can download this beautiful template i was already downloaded it you can this is our bootstrap block template right click on my mouse extract here with the help of WinRAR software you can download and install WinRAR distribution folder open it you can see this is our static files and html files now open up our git bash i hope you are familiar with git bash if you are not familiar you can check out my playlist hit make directory create your folder our folder name django cms django cms folder created now this is empty folder django cms hit enter under django cms we are going to create a python environment hit python minus m b a n b our environment name numan you can name it anything now i am going to activate our environment hit source our environment name numan scripts forward slash activate hit enter you can see our environment name inside parenthesis this means our python environment successfully activate now i'm going to install django hit pip install django hit enter now i'm going to create our project hit django admin start project our project name can be anything in my case Numan web hit enter cd Numan web hit enter now under this Numan web our django project we are going to start an app hit uh, django admin start app our app name blog app hit enter type put dot hit enter this shortcut will open up your favorite code editor visual studio code after open your visual studio code close this tab you can see numan web this is our project folder and numan web this is our django project under this django project we are created our blog 
this is our blog app open up our django project under this django project open up your settings.py file first we are going to change path lib We are going to change path lib to install import OS. You can replace it. Now scroll down. This is our database. We are going to also change here os.path.join. This comes from OS settings. Up. Installed apps. Include your blog app that you are created. This is our blog app. We need to include under installed apps and uh, at the end separated by comma. Control is to save our settings.py file. Now we are going to hit this three dot icon here terminal new terminal hit python manage dot py run server enter Now open up your favorite browser. Our Django successfully installed. Now, now open up our blog app. Under blog app, open up views.py file. We are going to define our index it will take a request return render method it will take request separated by under single quote our blog app forward slash index dot html separated by comma we are going to call an empty context control is to save now we need to create our templates for this index dot html file open up your blog app right click your mouse create a new folder templates right click on your mouse create a new folder name blog app under this blog app we are going to create a new file name it index.html hit enter create an h1 tag pass o numan control is to save now again we are going to create another file inside blog app right click your mouse hit new file file name urls dot file hit enter 
from django dot urls import path from dot import views URL patterns path single code separated by comma views dot index separated by comma name equal under double quote index Now I'm going to open up our Django project folder under our Django project. Open up our main urls.py file. After path separated comma, call include. Now we are going to specify our blog app path include blog app dot urls comma it will take single quote now control is to save If I look back our template now, refresh our browser. Hello Noman, this is coming from index.html. Hello Noman, everything looking good. Similarly, now we can create blog.html and so on. Now open up our views under blog app. We are going to define blog request return render. It will take request comma blog app forward slash blog dot html. Call an empty context. Only post request return render request blog app forward slash post dot html now open up our urls dot py file under urls pattern we need to add path block forward slash views dot blog in equal block separated comma another path Post views dot post
Ctrl S to save. Now under templates, blog app, we are get index.html. Now we are going to upload our template static file. This is our template that we are downloaded before. blog.html, index.html, post.html these three files that we are need this is our Django CMS open it open our Numan web this is our blog app templates under blog app now we are going to copy and paste it here. Replace the file in the destination. Yes. These three files are here. Now open up our code editor. You can see here blog.html, index.html, post.html here. Open up our Django project Numan web this is our Django project file now we are going to create another file name static open our bootstrap CSS image JavaScript pandor this static file we are going to copy and paste it under static file that we are created now open it and paste it here Now you can see static, open it, this is our static files, now open up our browser, refresh our browser, you can see static file are not working because uh, we need to configure our static files with Django this is not an error now you can also check blog this is also working post working if I hit about, we are not created about.html, so it is not found. Okay. Now we need to configure our static files. Now open up our Numan web. This is our Django project folder under our django project open up our settings.py file scroll down static urls we need to also add media url images static files directory
it will take voice dot path dot join all our base directory it will take static media underscore road os dot path dot this directory it will take static forwards slash images os dot path dot join this directory static files control s to save once done now open up our urls dot my file from django dot config dot urls dot static import static from django dot config import settings URL patterns static settings dot media URL document underscore root equal settings dot media underscore root another URL patterns settings dot static URL Tick underscore root control is to save now under our terminal control C to break our terminal we need to install white noise white noise enter Open up our settings.py file. Scroll up. Under MIDI lawyer. White noise. Dot. MIDI lawyer. dot white noise midi lawyer separated by comma control is to save
now we are going to run our server python manage.py run server hit enter open up our browser refresh our browser we cannot see any changes here because uh, we are open up our index.html we need to load static and uh, a lot of things that uh, we need to include our static link here that comes from static before load static we need to collect static so control c to break our terminal python manage dot pi make migration manage dot pi migrate manage dot pi collect static hit enter successfully collect our static files that you can see before these files not display here static files that are coming from collect static comment now we can integrate with our template inheritance and load static files it will working well now we are going to inherit our templates. Inside our blog app, templates, blog app, right click your mouse, create a new file, name it help.html, hit enter. Go back our index.html. This is our head portion. We are going to control X to cut it here. This is our head.html that we have created. Control B to paste it here. Control S to save. Now under this blog app, right click your mouse, create a new file, name it base.html hit enter open your index.html this doc type and html control x to cut it here under base.html paste it here inside index.html if you scroll down you can see html here you can cut and paste it under here now we are going to include h 
8.html file this is comes from blog app we need to specify that forward slash now this is our index now under index.html we are going to extend base.html file it will come from blog app forward slash base dot html control is to save under base dot html file going to call body tag content and blog content control is to save open up our index.html now control is to save to see what happening now We need to run our server. Python manage dot py run server. Hit enter. Refresh our browser. Open up new file, name it header dot html hit enter open up our index this is our nav but you can see this is also include this div this is source area we need to Control X to cut, paste it here under header.html. Control X to save under base.html. Body tag we are defined here. 
you can see under base.html so we can remove it now call and see what happened great this is working now we need to specify our static links before do it we are going to this is script control x to cut create another file name script dot html here the scripts files control x to save Open our base.html. Good. Blog app forward slash pip.html. When you separate some portion of code, you need to include inside base. Control is to save. Now open up our index.html roll up. Control is to save. Open up our head.html. After this HRF, you can select and hit Ctrl D. Static, load static. You need to copy and paste it here. Here, here, and here. Control is to save. Open up our scripts.html. Similarly, we need to specify here also.
static single quote percentage curly braces you can copy this and paste it here and under this javascript this is https link that not need control is to save and uh, also we need to now control is to save Control is to save. We are going to check this is working or not. Refresh our browser. Invalid block tag static. Did you forget to register or load this tag? Source. Control S to save and again try to refresh our browser. You can see this error solve. We can fix it. Similarly, you can. that static URL for every single image link here you can see And copy this basically this is a shortcut method that uh, I'm going to show you can follow or you can manually do it every single tag we need to add static URL otherwise it will not work you can understand that this static URL comes from these static files or so static files 
we need to link to Now control is to save, open up our browser, refresh our browser. This is our footer. We need to add footer also. This thumbnail are not display here. This is single post title and also display here this thumbnail image here. For that, open up our index.html. This is our footer part. We are going to cut our footer part. Control X to cut and uh, under our blog app inside templates, we are going to create another file name footer.html. Enter, paste it here, footer code. Now open up our base.html. Log app forward slash 
footer.html control is to save now open up our footer.html this source need to close single quote percentage and braces to close now copy this and paste it here control is to save now open up our browser after refresh our browser you can see display thumbnail image here Why this is we need to save our index dot html. This is a face our browser. Now we need our footer. Control is to save, open up our browser, try to refresh our browser. Now you can see our thumbnail image display here. Everything everything is okay. Now you can change your address under footer for that open up your templates footer.html you can change it from here 398 From Christopher Road, India. Phone number. Email address
copy and paste it here control is to save refresh your browser you can see similarly you can refresh your facebook twitter and so on This is our index.html. There are many tags open. Now we are going to close. Open up our blog.html. We don't need to header. This portion of code comes from base.html, so we can delete it and uh, extend forward slash. Now we need to don't need script also footer this portion of code this is footer that as from footer.html so we don't need it now we are going to open up our blog hit enter you can see uh, image not display static error this is basically not an error we need to specify the model that we are inside this source and see control d Another image source.
you now you understand about static connection control is to save refresh our browser our static file comes similarly open up our post So we need to fix our post.html file for that head body app bar that Okay, base dot HTML file. Put static. At the bottom, we don't need script footer. And control is to save. Now you can refresh your browser. Static not loading. Control D to select all of the source files. Curly braces, percentage, static, single port, single port, percentage, curly braces, copy this symbol and paste it.
control is to save and open up our browser refresh our browser under sidebar latest post section you can see thumbnail are not displayed okay so we need to find out Control is to save and refresh our browser. Definitely, this problem are solved. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about Django CMS block web application, you can follow our playlist. We will be continue this blog web application. Now our second part where we are going to integrate with Django models and admins. And finally, we are going to build dynamic blog and portfolio that you can showcase your portfolio or you can submit your project for your university or college project thank you for watching this video stay with us and follow our channel subscribe our channel